Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over day one of this up of the October Deco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit awkward because I just woke up. Uh, I, I uh, the training has been tough, uh, but yeah, this is a new month, October 1st, though in New York it is actually September 30th, that's why I'm a little bit confused, or I was like, oh wait, I guess it is a new month, right? So yeah, welcome to day one, um, yeah, tr marathon training is still going okay, today I'm supposed to do seven miles, and I'm going to do this right after this, uh, thing, I slept way too much yesterday, which is good, but now I'm a little bit fo uh, foggy and Whatever. Alright, let's take a look at this bottom 1497. Check if away pairs are divisible by K. Uh, okay, given an injury away OR of even length N and an injury K, we're going to divide the away into exactly N divided by 2 such that the sum of each pair is divisible by K. Return true if you could find a way to do that or force otherwise. Oh, each pair, not. Okay. Oh, and over two pairs. Okay, I thought for some reason that it, it was I was reading as two pairs of arrays with n over two elements each. Not okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think we can just brute force this, right? Because basically, the idea is that these pairs. Okay, first of all, right? So uh, I'm going to do ASCII ASCII explanation here. Um, the thing is that okay, if you have um, all the pairs are uniquely matched, right? Meaning that, okay, so for K is to go, let's just keep it a little bit easier, let's say 10, right? That means that 1 will always, oops, one will always pair with a 9, 2 will always pair with an 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, dot, 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 right? And of course, um, in this problem, we want each pair to be divisible by K, not just equal to K, but it also it has the same idea, right? Because now you have 54 and 56, doesn't matter, it just have only cares about the last two digits because we have k is you go to uh, uh, last one digit even sorry but two digits one from each number maybe that's what I meant um, for k is you go to ten right um, I use k is you go to ten because you can kind of you know uh, uh, if you do enough maths and stuff like this you have enough practice uh, you have enough practice right so So yeah, uh, uh, and what I mean by having enough practice is that, um, yeah, you, you kind of have this intuitive sense with what it means for k is equal to 10. Now, what does it mean for k is equal to anything else, right? Well, let's say k is equal to 8, which is, of course, a binary, uh, uh, or like a, a power of 2, right? It's going to be 1 and 7, 2 and 6, and let's actually make this a little bit different, right? It's that Let's say we're writing in base 8. The reason why I say that is because then now, in the same way that in base 10 for the other one, you can say that, you know, the digits in before that doesn't matter. And you could just get, really, because it doesn't really matter, you could just get rid of it. And to get rid of it, you can, in base 10, if you want to just take the last digit, you, you just mod 10, right? So here, to get the last digit in base 8, we just mod 8. There are some tricky edge cases that you have to consider, of course. Um, because, for example, for 8, you know, you have 4 and 4, well, these matches, so you have to be careful so that, you know, um, because the idea here with checking with away pairs can do it, and because these are all uniquely, after you take only the last digit, because, you know, uh, maybe you have 100 and, or you have 11 and you have 17, and then you have an, and you have 1 and 7, or 1 and 27, whatever, so these can only, uh, these can match anything from the left to the right, but, the, uh, but once you kind of compress it down, removing everything but the last digit in base 8, then you have three ones and three sevens and have to match exactly, right? Um, the, the tricky thing is that, yeah, when you have like k is equal to 8, 4 and 4, these match exactly, so you have to kind of do math the other way because, uh, or you have to do math because now, instead of saying, for example, you need like, if you have three ones, you need three sevens. Well, here, you actually need a even number of fours, right? For example, because then now they can match with each other. Um, 
And the, the, the other edge case is, you know, 0 and 8, which technically is just 0 and 0, which has the same thing with 4. So that's basically the idea for this problem. Um, and we can kind of, let's double check at the constraints. K is 10 to the 5th, um, but N is also 10 to the 5th. You could do this in a number of ways, but first of all, it always starts with um, the, uh, the the frequency table, right? And this is a, in Python, this is a one liner where you could do this. But if you can, you can imagine you just write something like this, right? It's, it's really not a big deal uh, of a lookup table, right? So yeah, same idea, just slightly shorter. And it only saved me like, I don't know, five seconds, right? Took me longer to explain. Okay, and then now, uh, oh, actually, I, I am wrong. <laughs> I for forgot what I was trying to do. Uh, I mean, you could, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so then you could do uh, mm, v mod k for v in uh, array, right? So we have to kind of change this a little bit. I forgot we have to do the mod so that we get basically the last digit, if you will, in base k. Um, keep in mind that this doesn't always work with every language or you have to be a little bit more careful because in Python, um, mod 5, or oh, sorry, negative 5, mod 8, or even mod 10, um, or negative 4, mod 10, I mean negative 5, mod 10 is going to be 5 anyway, but negative 4, mod 10 is actually equal to 6 when some languages it actually still gives you negative 4. So you have to be careful to determine which one your language is from. In Python, it, like I said, it gives me 6, which is what I want. Um, but if you get negative four, obviously you have to do some more magic to do it or some more maths. Maths is magic, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so yeah, so now there are a couple of ways you can do it. For, well, I guess we can just go through the keys, right? So now for uh, key, key in F dot keys, um, if, so then now key is, Key is a number between 0 and k, that's or k minus 1, sorry, inclusive, um, because that's what the modding of k does, right? So then now we have two cases as we said. So, um, so we have k is equal to key plus some other number, right? We'll just write other, say. Um, and we know, we know this, and we know what k is, we know what key is, so then other is just doing some math, so we minus key on both sides, and that's pretty much it, right? So the other key is to go to this thing, right? Um, so then now, as I said, there are two cases, so if key is equal to other key, then we have to make sure that um, if f of key mod two is not zero, then we return false because that's no longer possible. Otherwise, I mean, in this case, otherwise it's, it's just, we keep going. Otherwise, the keys are not the same, then if f of key oops, is not equal to f of other key, then we return false. Otherwise, we return true and we should be good, right? Hopefully. Otherwise, ooh, I messed up something. I return false. Hmm. Dong, dong, dong. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sloppy about this one. Um, eh, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I, I did this math, but then I forgot that this one edge case. Uh, I mean, I, I was thinking about it as I was writing it out, but then I just forgot when I implemented it, which is that um, k is a number between 0, oh, sorry, k is obviously just k. Key is between 0, k minus 1. So when key is equal to 0, other key is actually equal to k. But other key being k is not equal to um, uh, it's not between 0 and 1, which is why it doesn't get counted this way. So then now we just need something like this, right? So then, yeah. Actually, kind of this is why I wrote it like this specifically and not another way where, you know, because another way to, you can think about it, you can write this as key plus key is equal to k, but there's the other case, which is this case, but then I just forgot to add this thing. Uh, yeah. All right, let's give a quick submit. And yeah. Looks like we're good. Looks like we have a huge streak going. And th that's pretty much it. What is the complexity here, right? Well, we have linear space for this, in the worst case, and also linear time um, for all the lookups and all these things. And that's pretty much it. Linear time, linear space. That's all I have with this one. Have a great rest of the week. Have a great month, in fact. 
uh yeah wish me good luck on my running and yeah thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to commend to health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye